Hello everyone, my name is Ripley and today we are doing the final part of the Resident Evil build series that we are doing. I can't believe it's the final part already, I mean I'm happy that it is the final part and like don't get me wrong, like I've been loving to build this, but it's, it has been a huge build, like it's been a really big build and honestly I didn't think it would take this quickly to do this. Like I, I uh, took all the videos together and I have roughly like 21 hours of recorded footage. And then if you like add on like me doing the layout and stuff to add on off camera, I would say this build took me about 25 hours to do, which still 25 hours is a lot shorter than I thought it would take. I thought it would take me way longer to do this, but I guess I'm pretty quick when it comes to building. Also, we did get this build to a million, which I'm very excited about. Well, technically we got this build to 970,000. And there was even like, I did also add in like the secret room, as well as like the guard room that was underneath the entrance, along with the third floor and the clock tower, so I was sure that we would hit a million. But when I was done, we were used at like 970,000. And I mean, don't get me wrong again, 970,000 is a lot but it's not as impressive as a million. So what I might have done, which I mean, I can't add 30,000 using boxes. So I might have um, hidden some of those like night uh, statues in the roof. It's like you can't see them or like you won't, they, you can't see them. They are on like the fourth floor of like the um, main hall. Like I have this fourth floor just for the uh, sake of the roofing. And they hit them there, used to hit a million, so I mean if you don't want them there, you can remove them, but you will never really see them or interact with them in any way. I just put them there because I really wanted to hit a million. Uh, and I would say it worked fine, like it's about a million and like 3,000 I think it is. And this build is on my gallery right now. I have uploaded this to my gallery. Um, my gallery ID is RipleyYT, there's Ripley with two eyes and the YT at the end if you want it. I think it's just called like RE2 Remake Police Station, I think I called it. Um, and now we're doing the storage area, which the third floor is mainly just storage. And, but I did have a little bit of trouble with this, just because um, it's, it's like this big area and you get really turned around in these like big storage areas. Um, just a bit like how everything is laid out and like some things, like some shelves comes off the wall and it's a lot of like boxes and stuff and you got very easily turned around in the end i think it ended up looking pretty accurate regardless which thanks to my sister who very kindly went into the game and recorded the third floor for me which she absolutely didn't need to do but i'm very thankful that she did that because it did really help a lot uh, and also helped me save a lot of time trying to like google and try to like find like youtube videos of certain rooms she did it very easy for me to do this floor, which I'm very grateful for. Um, so overall, I think that the third floor went very quickly for me. Even with my game crashing twice, uh, which was very annoying, especially the first time, because when it crashed the first time, I had pretty much finished the third floor. And then when I loaded back into the game, which is on me because I forget to save even though I should have learned from last time but when I loaded back to the game I had like lost half of the third floor and I was like god I can't and I stopped building that was on Monday and I stopped building I was like I'm too tired I can't redo really that but then when I came back in on a Tuesday I was ready to build again and right now you're watching like the pre-crash um, footage I didn't record like the me redoing this which uh, for this era here, I actually think that uh, the one I did, even though I tried to keep it as similar as possible, I think that when I did this the second time, it looks better than it does now. I do also eventually end up flipping the stars because they are facing the wrong direction right now. But with that said, I still think that this looks very similar to the end result or how it looks when I redo it, which you will also be able to see in the tour. But then after I redid everything again, my game crashed again, which luckily I had saved at that point because I realized that maybe it's because, and I realized that it was because I tried to use tool mod on a mannequin and the game didn't like it at all so it crashed. 
So when I tried to do that the second time, I saved before because I thought that well maybe that was the reason and and then very quickly that was confirmed when I tried to resize a mannequin again and my game crashed. I think it might be because mannequins like you go into cast and you can dress them and I guess that the game something in the game is like yeah you can't do that you can't resize that because putting the clothes on the mannequins later on would be look but then really like I guess it wouldn't work so the game is like no no you can't do that um but overall uh, I think that the third floor although it gave me some trouble ended up looking pretty good like all the videos like I said it before this build is slightly cursed because they have there has always been a problem uh, but nothing too major I was a little bit tired of the game after it crashed but overall um not too big of a problem not too much to say about this I just kinda again this is the pre-crash version which I do think that this looks slightly better than what did after the crash. I mean, again, they look still very similar, but there is some like uh, showing out some like bookcases that I used and like a little bit of their layout look a little bit different, just in like type of boxes and that kind of stuff. Um, but not not too bad, regardless. Then I also ended up putting in the secret room underneath the the statue in the main hall, which is um. The thing is like in Resident Evil you have like this stash that can appear and you can walk down to the secret room which I can't do in The Sims 4. I tried to put in like stairs uh, in front of the statue but I really didn't like the way that that looked just because, it's, just because it took up a lot of space and if you wanted it to be game accurate like accurate to Resident Evil it wouldn't really, that wouldn't be possible at all so the stash would come down like a little bit weirdly regardless but what I ended up doing is I put a ladder instead because that took up a lot less space like that only takes up like one tile instead of like three or four um and then uh, we have like a little bit hallway that's you know we're not as accurate because I had to put in like the ladder and stuff but then we have the secret room and I think that that ended up looking pretty good and then I also ended up messing around a little bit with the main hall as well just on the second and third floor because I didn't really like the way they had on like the arches that are on the sides so what I ended up doing is it looks quite similar still but I ended up drawing like a wall around it having the arches there and then putting in like a fake fence because that was like my main concern like I couldn't put in a fence and have like walls on top uh, that doesn't make any sense probably but you know I couldn't use a fence and the wall at the same time so I, up, so I just ended up having like the archers by themselves and then pulling a fence through which I didn't really like the look of so what I ended up doing is finding some uh, debug fences which finding nice debug fences is like non-existent <laughs> the only nice like at least not I wouldn't say non-existent because we do have some nice fences in debug but um, at least not fences that are like, way low or like like a nice wooden fence we do have a f the only like nice like small wooden fence we have is from snow escape which is the one that i ended up using and i think it ended up looking really really nice i do think i have like a little bit i, I think you can see it in the tour uh just the main hall on the third floor uh you can see a little bit better what i did there but i think it ended up looking a lot nicer than what i had initially done uh, and now i'm just working on this little arrow here it does get cut off build here because this is at the point where the game crashed uh, very soon <laughs> it's at the point where the game crashed and then I was like I could because this is like this room is like halfway done and then I was like well I can just put in the footage from like when I start recording after the glitch after I had like fixed everything but then I had already like the things that I hadn't done I had already done um, in like the pre-glitch version so I was like yeah let's just cut it out uh, you can see it somewhat in the tour of course now that we get up on the third and the fourth level the camera is very like fast like it's really hard to get a nice shot because the camera just moves around a lot and it's really hard to make it look nice so you can kind of somewhat see it in the tour for the more in-depth tour later on I'm gonna try to for 
there's only so much I can do, but I'm gonna like give it a little bit more time, I guess, to get a nice shot. Uh, it's gonna be tricky for the third and fourth floor to do a nice like tour uh, because the camera does most of fast, but I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> and now I'm working on the secret room down here, which I I wasn't really gonna include it at first, but I think that um, also because when my sister did the, like the walking through the third floor, she did also look at this room, which was like maybe she wanted it, so I was like. I can add it in, it's just one room. And the main reason that I didn't want to add in a basement is because it kind of like goes out to the parking lot and to like that kind of stuff and I couldn't really... I don't really know how I would have done it. Also because it kind of goes into the nest and everything. I was like, I'm not gonna do the basement. But doing some rooms, like the secret room here, as well as like the guard room, I think it's fine. Then off to the side here, we do have like... I think it's like an elevator that goes down to the nest here, which... We can't have two elevators on a lot, which I think is really weird. The game is like, nah, you can't even, not even with shits, you can put a second elevator. So it's like, which I thought was really annoying, but I mean, it's just for looks anyway. So I just ended up adding in a fence in there, and then that's the room done. Um, not too much, but it's just like, it's just there to be there. But overall, I'm actually really happy that I did add this room in, even though it means that we have like a ladder sticking up on the main floor, on the first floor which isn't accurate, but it is what it is. Uh, and I think that having that room in uh, was really nice, and I think that that's something that um, was needed. Or like, I really did want that in the end. Like, I didn't want it at first, but then when I did it, I was like, yeah, we need this in here. Uh, but with that said, we're about to jump into the tour. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all very, very soon. Ripley out.